Kids still go to school today and they learn about disease. They learn about the dangers of sex. They're not learning about the fabulous, wonderful things about sex. I think there's a time and a moment for everything. And unfortunately, children are growing up on porn. They have a very, a very pornographic viewpoint on um, the sexual experience and on women. L little boys see women in the sexual act as um, a consumeristic affair. And little girls also learn to believe that that's the way they're supposed to behave. I think that porn also um, perpetuates a lot of the pleasure myths. Um, you know, we can, it can go, be as simple as something to do with size uh, in men, or um, the way that a woman's built, you know, a flat-chested woman, she's not gonna be nearly as uh, capable of attaining pleasure, you know. Uh, if we look at porn, that's the message that we get. I think the greatest myth that's perpetuated by the porn industry, it relates to female pleasure, and it's the hysterical arch. And it's the position that women assume when they, they press their pelvic down on the surface that they're, they're lying on, and then they press their tummies forward and they arch their backs and kick their head back. And it actually blocks the circulation. It's very pretty because it flattens the tummy and it looks good. And, and in porn, that abounds, this position abounds, the hysterical arches everywhere. You know? But in reality, it actually blocks the blood flow to the genitals. and pretty much is guaranteed to inhibit orgasm completely. I think porn is very important. It did liberate, to some degree, the female orgasm. I mean, for the first time, we saw women taking and enjoying themselves sexually on the silver screen. Children from the age of five on have, and until the age of 15, have repeated exposure to hardcore porn. They don't know how to process it. They learn from it. And that is their sexual instruction. We need to have them unlearning these things at the same time. So what I would like to see happen is that within the school systems, the idea of teaching about the benefits of a healthy sex life um, become a part of the course. But if we leave porn as the initiator, we're going to come to a point where we're in a sort of medieval frame of mind because that's where we're headed right now. Hi, my name is Bettany Vernon, and you're watching Thinker.